Hey, what's going on guys? It's Hanson. So today I'm going to show you guys how to build some nice user interface cards that look like this. So you can see right over here, we have three cards and it has this nice little hover effect and we have the nice background and you can see we have for each card, we have this nice little background image that spans across over here evenly. Like it's pretty much like a rounded square and we have rounded rectangle. We have some text something over here and it looks it just looks pretty awesome and these are very common that you see whenever you're building a website that has like something to offer like you know any product or some kind of monthly plan something like that so let's go ahead and get right into the implementation now the first thing you want to make sure you have are your assets so you can see right over here i have three images uh so this image over here is from free pick they're all from freepick.com and basically you don't have to pay for it but you do have to credit so you can see right over here that uh it tells you how to attribute and you need to make sure they tell you pretty much how to give credit so i'm going to leave a link in the description to all of these images as you can see so this image corresponds to this one and this image corresponds to this one over here and this one was obviously this one. so just make sure you download all three of these or download whatever one you want it doesn't really matter okay there are so many different assets that you can download from free pick so just choose the one that you like okay so once you download it you obviously want to make sure you put it inside your workspace which makes it easier for us to access okay so once you've downloaded your images it's we're just going to put it inside our folder. You can see we have all of our images right over here. Okay, so we're just gonna create an index.html file, create an index.css file. We're not gonna be using any JavaScript. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just use my Visual Studio Code extension. I think it's called Emmet. So if I type HTML colon five and if I hit tab, it's going to generate this template. You can see right over here, it even says Emmet abbreviation. So HTML colon five, hit tab. And this is just gonna save some time. And so I just call this. For the title, we'll call it awesome cards and link. So the same thing with link. If you do link tab, it's going to generate the snippet for you. And href, we'll just do index.css. It's going to reference the CSS file. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a div. This is going to act like a container. So we're going to call this card container. So basically what this container is going to do is it's going to wrap all of the cards. Okay, because right now this is actually a flex box. So we're going to wrap everything. Okay. So that makes it easy to align all of these cards in place. And we're also going to position it too. So first let's just create three cards. So each card is going to be a div and we're just going to call this, give this class of card base. Okay. Because we're going to reuse a lot of CSS over and over again. So instead of having to rewrite the same CSS over and over again, we just write it once and apply that CSS class to multiple different divs. So we'll have three. And so the same properties for each card are going to be the width, right? We want to make sure each card has the same width as well as the same height. So let me just go ahead and resize this. And let me actually open this up in a live server. Okay, so we have this blank page over here. And let me go ahead and do card container. I'm not going to do anything with card container class yet because I want to show you what actually happens when we apply the flex box. So first let's start with card base. So let's give card base. So let's first give card base a width of 350 pixels. That's all we're going to need for now. And then in the meantime, we're going to have individual classes for each card. Okay, so for example, this card is going to have a card one, this card is going to, well, this div is going to have a class of card two, and then this div is going to have a class of card three. The reason why is because each one of these cards, they're going to have their own background image, okay? So for example, if I do card one, and they're going to have their own background color as well. So let me actually go ahead and grab my colors. I actually did design this in Adobe XD first, so let me show you where I got my colors from. So yeah, I designed it over here in Adobe XD, as you can see. And again, these colors, whatever you want, I'm just going to copy the same ones that I have been using. So the first card, we're going to have a background color of it's pretty much like a gold color, which fits our theme. So right now it's not being displayed. And now let's go ahead and just give the card a fixed height of 500. So you can see we actually have our card being displayed over here. So in the meantime, what I'll do is let me go ahead and do the same thing for card two. So background, and actually I'm pretty sure the other card is over here too somewhere. It's just really hard to see it. Yeah, they're down here. You can see that 
they're down there but you just can't see it because of the background but it is there so let's go ahead and give the second card i'm going to go get my color this is going to be a platinum okay and you can see right over here we have our other card over here and then let's go ahead and give card three a background color of and that's the diamond tier so we'll just paste that in there and you can see now we have all three of our cards they're visible and they all have color problem is is that they're all on different lines so how do we fix that well that's the main reason why we have this card container this is going to wrap literally everything so we're going to just give this a display of flex and you're going to see that everything is going to align on the same line and that's just the nature of flexbox I'm not going to go super in depth on Flexbox, but I highly suggest you guys learn about it. And with Flexbox, we can also justify the content. So I can set this in the center. And I actually want to give uh, each card a margin. So what we'll do is we'll do margin 50 pixels. And this is going to be okay for wide screens. If we were to resize this, we would need to make sure we use a media query to remove the margin. Otherwise, it's going to overflow width okay all right so now that we have that the next thing that we want to do is we want to actually apply some more styles to each one of our cards so we're going to go back to card base and what we're going to do we're going to give a border radius of 40 pixels so you can see that that's how we have the roundedness for each one of our card which is pretty cool and then i think what i'll do next is i'll give it a boxed shadow uh we'll do two pixels two pixels 22 pixels and then rgba zero 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 and then 0 0.2 so with box shadow we have these offsets over here and then we have the blur and then the spread so this is just going to set the properties of our box shadow and it's going to also give this box shadow a certain color so we're using an rgba so this is going to give our box shadow some transparency instead of just having it as like a flat color okay but i think 0 0.2 is perfect and that's going to be it we're going to add transition later on for the box shadow all right so what's next is we need to actually put the background images on the cards so for that we're going to use a div so i'm going to create a div inside this card since i card base and i'm going to give it a class of image one okay and this is just going to be an empty div so i'll just keep it like that and then we'll do image hyphen one and for this image we're going to basically first let's just do this let's do background url and we'll do uh let's see for gold i think it was bg3 okay, now if i show you what this looks like it's going to let's see, you're not going to see anything because we don't actually have any dimensions for this block yet so let me go ahead and add some dimensions so we'll do width so the width is obviously going to be 350 pixels okay the height will leave it as 300 pixels let's just see what that looks like Okay, so yeah, you can start to see that we have our background image over here. We have that pink. So now that our image is actually there, let's give our border radius of 40 pixels. So this border radius is going to be the same as the card base because obviously you want the radius to be the same. Okay, all it does, all this image is just overlapping the card. Okay, so obviously you want to make sure you have the same border radius and you also want to make sure you have the same width. The only thing that can be different is the height. All right, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to actually add the no repeat just so it doesn't the background doesn't repeat at all. But for the background size, I'm going to simply do 100% for now, just to show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so you can see that it's actually very small. We want to get rid of half of the image. So what I can do is I can actually change the background size to 150. And you can see that it looks like this. If I change to 140, it's going to, zoom, it's going to kind of like zoom out a little bit. So we can do 145 if we want. Yeah, but I think 150 is good enough. And then what we'll do is we can also position the background as well. So background position 0%. Though I don't think that's going to change much. Let me actually move this to the other screen because I can't really tell. It kind of does change it a little bit. But we don't necessarily need it for now. But for the other images, we might. Okay, so that's going to give us the image. Now let's go ahead and do the button. So let's see where we're here. I think inside already yep, out. So outside of div class image one, so we're going to create another class and we're going to call this button base. We're going to give it two class actually in button one. And then inside here, we're going to have the text in a paragraph tag. Go down over here and let's go ahead and first define the button base. So actually, I'll do this up here. 
Okay, so button base is going to have a width of 260 pixels. So again, this is going to shape the button. This is all up to you. But we're going to give it a border radius of 50 pixels. So let me show you what this is going to look like in just a sec. So you can see right over here, it doesn't it doesn't really have much right now. That's because we need to give it the background color. But I'm going to go ahead and give a background color so you guys can see what the shape actually looks like. So this is, so the curve is coming from the border radius, the width and the height is obviously coming from the width and the height. We also want to make sure we are centering this button. So we're going to give it a margin of zero auto. And then to make it so that this actually is aligned up top over here, we're going to go ahead and give it right underneath margin zero auto. This is important. You need to make sure you do margin top negative 25 pixels. Okay, so that's going to move it up a little bit. So now if I were to do this up before the margin zero auto, you can see nothing's going to happen. That's because this margin zero auto is replacing the margin top. Okay, now I'm going to just give the button base a font size of 30 pixels. Okay, now the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to give it a display of Flexbox. Okay, so that is basically going to move this up there. Okay, which is pretty cool. And then we're going to just give it a justify content of center. So that's going to center this P tag over here. Okay, and then we're going to give align items center as well. So that's going to vertically align. Okay, cool. And I think that itself should be fine. I'm going to get rid of this background because again, we're going to have different backgrounds. So now we're done with the base of the button. Well, we can also give the text color white or whatever color we want. We'll leave it that way for now. Now we're going to go down over here. So button one. And then we're just going to give it a background color of, let me go ahead and get my background color. So background color, and then we want to give it color of pinkish, not really pink, but okay. And now the last thing that we need to do is just give the text. So that shouldn't be too complicated. So we're going to go down outside of the button and I'm going to create a new div, give it a class called content. And I'm just going to go ahead and type something simple. Sign up for a membership. Okay, so we're going to go up here. Content. And I want to give this a padding of 25 pixels. So that looks a little bit nice, but the padding from the top is a little bit too much. So what I can do is I can specify the top and the bottom padding by simply providing two arguments for padding. So I can do 15 pixels, so that's top, bottom. And the second parameter would be right and left. If you only specify one parameter, it's going to treat it for padding for all sides. So it should be okay. We'll give it a font size, uh, let's do 18 pixels. Okay, and then for font family, uh, I'm just going to use the same font family from the Adobe XD mockup over here. Just like that. You can give it whatever font you want, like I said. Okay, there we go. We have that right over there. And uh, let's see what's wrong with our button. Let me go ahead and actually... I'm going to just define the font family in there. There we go. Okay, so that's looking pretty cool. And literally all we need to do next is we just need to copy and paste this multiple times. Actually, let me do one more thing. Let me get rid of, I'm not really too fond of the padding at the top. So I'm probably just gonna do five pixels. Uh, yeah, I think that itself should be okay. Okay, so now all we need to do is just literally copy and paste the same thing because we have done it once. So now I can just copy this. And instead of image one, right? Because now we have the same thing. We're going to do image two and then button two. So we still have our card base, card two. Okay, the content is gonna be the same. So we're gonna go down over here. So card two, and then we're just going to copy literally this CSS, image two, button two. And for the image, let's see, what was the platinum one again? Uh, let's see, the platinum one was, I think, this one over here, BG one. Okay. So image two B one. So now we are going to change the size of it just a little bit. So don't worry. And then for button two, the color is supposed to be, let me just get that color. Okay. And uh, let's see, let's go ahead and do the same thing for card three. So image 
search three button three so let's just copy this again so image two two image three button three and for this bg it's going to be bg2 and then the color is going to be our bluish color and there you go so wait hold on let me change the button color did i do button three yeah right over here so that's button three okay there we go all right so it's looking a lot better okay actually uh you know what i'm not really too fond of this padding let me actually change the padding of the content real quick i'll do 45. okay that looks a little bit better okay cool and you know what we'll do padding from the top five pixels okay so let me just change up the text so platinum diamond okay and now let's just fix up background size real quick so for card two or image two for background size we're going to do 130 pixels and we're going to shift it a little bit more to the left so for position x i'll probably just do 60 percent and i can also shift the position up top so i'll show you how that looks like so background position y 20 percent see how it moves up top a little bit I think this itself is okay, but I'll just leave it at 0%. You can see that if I do 5%, you're going to see the shape kind of start to look a bit weird. So I'm just going to get rid of the background position from there. Okay, and then for diamond, let's go ahead and leave the background position. Let's go ahead and set the background position for y and what do we want to set it 50 percent let's do 30 percent for okay so that's going to move it a little bit so if i do 10 percent can't really tell too much but it might be because of the background size yeah so the background size itself is uh, okay. Okay, I think we probably don't need to set the background position for Y. Okay, and that's looking good so far. Now, one last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do the hover effect. So we're going to target card base and we're going to use a pseudo class. And what we're going to do is whenever we hover over, I'm just simply going to change the box shadow, the margin top, as well as the cursor. So for box shadow, we'll just increase like the offset by a little bit. So let's do two pixels and then RGBA 0, 0, 0, 0 0.5. 0 0.5. The margin top will do 20 pixels and then cursor pointer. Now if I hover over, you can see that there it, it just does instantly. Okay, so we need to add a transition. So we're going to go to card base now and we're just simply going to say transition 0.3 seconds for box shadow comma 0.3 seconds for margin top and then ease in out for the, the smoothness or the effect so let's see why is that uh oh i'm not sure why oh i, I might have done something wrong 0.3 oh whoops 0.3 s box shadow there we go. Okay, cool. And that's pretty much it. Okay. And I think one last final thing, for example, if I were to resize this, you can see that it kind of just like overflows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a media query here and this is going to allow it to be responsive. So we're going to set the max width. So I'll just do 1350 pixels. And what I'll do is the card container. I'm going to set the flex direction to column because right now it's flexing uh, in a row. By default, there's a row, I think. But if we set it to column, so if I resize, you can see that it's now a column, but it's not centered. And then now for card base, I'm going to do margin zero auto. Okay. Well, actually, wait a minute. Margin top 15, 10 pixels. There's that spacing at least. Actually, let's do 20. 
All right, there you go. So it looks pretty cool. We have some awesome cards. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys like this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.